Hey there, my name is Keith, and I've invented a new musical instrument, and I just released it a couple days ago, and I wanted to give you guys a quick tutorial and a run-through about just how this thing works. Um, so first of all, uh, you can use any standard MIDI controller like this, like a small keyboard, or you can have like a larger keyboard, or like a groove box, essentially anything that has a MIDI output. And you connect it to a device that this is also connected to. This is a little handheld controller. And the fundamental idea behind this is hitting a key or hitting a pad or whatever is not the thing that triggers the note for this. What triggers the note is the motion of the, this little handheld controller. So for instance, like this is my snare drum right here. And if I just press it, nothing happens. But if I go, That is what triggers the sound. Um, so let me talk about this first of all. Um, I've got two buttons here, a uh, button here and button there. Uh, button, And essentially the way this works is that if I hold down those buttons, I get a closed hi-hat sound. And if I hold down just the front one, I only get front hit, so. So kind of like you know eighth notes and then this would be 16th notes if I hold down both. The top one controls back hit, so so I can do kind of combinations to get you know different kinds of syncopation stuff. Like that. Um, and you'll notice that it's also velocity sensitive. So if I if I hit softly, I get that nice soft sound. If I hit a little harder, then I get a louder sound. And this is essentially like a shaker or like maraca, something like that, or a handbell. Um, essentially what it's doing is it's detecting the accelerometer inside here is detecting the acceleration. And then when it detects that the acceleration is slowing down, then it triggers the note and it triggers it according to how fast that acceleration is. So a fast acceleration gives you a loud note and a slow acceleration gives you a, a soft note. Okay, so then after that, I've got all of these keys mapped to different drums. Um, I'll just walk through this. I got snare drum, I got side stick, got kick drum, um, I've got a ride cymbal, I've got, um, so you notice this was the closed hi hat. If I do this, it'll give me an open hi hat. And then this is his crash cymbal. This is high tom, mid tom, low tom, like that. Um, and so you put those together and you can get drum beats. Like that. Now, you'll notice, just like with a shaker or with um, you know, maracas, uh, depending on the motion that I make over here it will give me more or less swing. Um, so if I do kind of like a, you know, a stiffer wrist over here, it'll give me a straight, straight eighth note kind of sound. And if I loosen up my wrist, just like with an egg shaker, it'll give me kind of a more of a swing sound. So that translates over to the drum beat. So if I get like a straight sound. And then if I loosen up my wrist, I get more of a swing sound. Like that. Um, and so that's the basics of how this whole thing works. Uh, I'm also going to release the source code for this so that you can set it up in any way you want to. So for instance, if you don't like this uh, you know, mapping, uh, note mapping that I've done, you can change that to anything that you possibly want. And you can add other uh, drums, other sound effects, whatever that you want. You could even do it with notes if you really wanted to and do kind of like a keyboard thing. That would be cool. Um, but the open source-ness is going to be a fundamental aspect of the instrument. 
It's going to be how you change your settings. It's going to be how you fiddle with anything. You can add stuff to it. You can uh, you can change it in whatever way you want to. And actually, just this morning, I was messing around with uh, the threshold values, like how hard or how soft you like how hard you have to hit a note in order for it to register. Because if I just barely move, I don't get anything. But if I go a little bit harder, I get a note. I was messing around with those settings and it was taking me a minute because I was having to like change some numbers on the on my keyboard uh, on the computer and upload it. Um, and then I, then I decided, well, I was like, well, I've got these knobs right here. I'm just going to change the threshold settings just using the knobs. So I did that. I mapped like the lower threshold to this one and the higher threshold to this one. Um, so now, so if I turn that up, you see it stopped registering and I've had hit a little bit harder. And now I just have to like barely hit and that's probably too sensitive, like just <laughs> something like that. And then with the high knot or the high threshold, I can make it essentially like a greater dynamic range if I move this up higher. So I have to really hit hard to get an accent or I can change that dynamic range so I just barely have to hit in order to get really loud notes. So like with a lot of dynamic range, maybe this would be good for like, I don't know, jazz or something. Like that kind of thing. Or if I lower the threshold down, then I could get like some. really strong kind of rock sort of thing. So I'm very excited about the open source part of this. Um, I think that's going to be a, a really huge deal um, because it's going to be sort of like, you know, like unveiling the wizard behind the curtain. <laughs> you're going to be able to change everything about it. Um, and you're going to be able to kind of unlock the actual power of an electronic instrument. And I'm going to include tutorials about how to change the code. Um, there will be very simple things that you can do, like remapping keys will be extremely easy. You're just going to like change a number from one number to another number. Um, and then there will be more complicated things, like you can mess around with how the accelerometer works, like you use a different direction or make it change, you know, a combination of directions. Or maybe, I don't know, you could do crazy things like have like sustained notes that you make lower or softer or louder just by moving this thing around um, or just other stuff that I haven't even thought of. Um, so I'm very excited about that aspect. Um, and like I said, that's all the basics. Um, let me know if you have any questions and I'll see what I can do. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.